we encourage them to throw them. So yep. they make a really cool sound. If you throw two at once, you make a different sound. If you throw one really hard, it makes a different sound. And it's a great way also to experiment with using different kinds of force. So hitting something hard versus hitting it lightly and the different sounds that you can create that way. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Flaghouse Sensory Channel. I am your host Chris and this week I'm here with Claire Heffern from the Inspired Treehouse looking at one of the more famous products that we sell that's been on YouTube many times, Boom Whackers. So why are Boom Whackers such a good option for therapists, professionals, or even parents to have around for kids to use? Yeah, so we really love using them because they can target so many different skills. They're great for sensory processing because they make that sound. They can kind of get hit on the floor or hit against each other, so there's some great proprioceptive and tactile feedback there too. And they are so colorful and bright and they make a cool sound, so kids are kind of automatically drawn to them. They almost always have an automatic interest in playing with them. So. That's fantastic. So what are some of the favorite ways that you do play? Yeah, so we love to do a little like repeat my rhythm. So it's great for sound processing. So we'll tap out a rhythm with our boom whackers and see if the kids can repeat exactly what we did in exactly the same way. Super fun to do with a group of kids too. So yeah. like um, one leader tapping out a rhythm and the whole group responding by coming back with their rhythm. We'll play Simon Says. So kind of a similar thing to repeat my rhythm, but we'll use our body. So we'll tap them on our knees, tap them on our feet, which is so great for body awareness and really great for younger kids who are working on learning their body parts. So can you tap it on your feet and, and have them respond by tapping on the right body part. We'll also use them for kids who are a little bit harder to draw out of their shell. They might be shy or nervous to participate. We'll do sword fights with them. So it's kind of a fun, playful way to get them engaged in an activity and it makes a cool sound when you hit the two together. That's a really fun way to play with them. For our speech therapy friends, they make really great microphones too. So if yeah. you yell through them, sing through them, it can really get kids' attention and is a really fun way to make a sound in a different way. And then last, again, for kids who might not want to jump in and participate, we encourage them to throw them. So yeah. they make a really cool sound if you throw two at once, you make a different sound. If you throw one really hard, it makes a different sound. And it's a great way also to experiment with using different kinds of force. So hitting something hard versus hitting it lightly and the different sounds that you can create that way. Excellent. So all kinds of different ways that we've learned how to play with boom whackers today, yeah. which is really fun. Thank you so much for all these great ideas. Claire does have other great ideas that are on the Inspired Treehouse blog on boom whackers. And you can check that out by visiting the link in the description. And while you're down there, make sure you click the subscribe button for the Flaghouse Sensory Channel. We always have new activity ideas every single week with great experts like Claire. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.